match starts soon. Hold on to your points. Seize theirs. Mansion captured.
Clock tower captured. Captured the windmill. So sadly, the end of this video got corrupted. So uh, to finish out the video, what I thought I would do is do a little kind of analysis through a duel that went on and kind of my thought process, uh, what skills I'm using, what the enemy is using, what I'm looking out for. Uh, I thought maybe this would be helpful to uh, some of the people who are newer to PvP. So this story starts off here at mid. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and mute the volume here. So it's we're at mid. And I can see that the enemy Chrono is up top. I've got my eye on him. I'm going to mouse over him. Okay, so there he goes. He, I can see he's going towards our node. So I want to respond to that. I'm the quickest one on our team. So I port over to the Ellie. Uh, I give him a little bonk on the head, but it's not about the Ellie. So I'm going to move on and let my team deal with that. My real focus is the Chrono there. Now, going into this fight, what I'm thinking is, okay, so he is a power Chrono. Uh, the reason I know that is because I've seen him with the great sword. And I've seen him bursting down my teammates, and I've uh, received one of his bursts myself. So I know that he's on power. And so as I'm approaching this node, uh, I swapped here to Jalus, which is my safer legend of the two. And what we know about Power Chrono is that he's going to try to do a big burst of damage all in one go. Uh, and he's going to do it, try and do it from stealth as well. So we want to try and avoid that. So uh, another thing we know as well is they like to do... Uh, a big burst from stealth. So I'm watching for the stealth. There it is. Okay, so I see the stealth. I pop back down, make some space. And as you see there, the firework rune went off. And he spawned a clone. You can see to the left of my character is a clone. So I know that the big burst is coming. So I swap to my staff. As you can see, here comes the staff. Right? And I dodge in preparation for it. And you see he's appeared back up at the top of the stairs. So what I do is I immediately staff 5 to CC him and also to protect myself. So what that does is it gives me an evade frame and it puts weakness on him so he can't crit me anymore. So I move up and the very next thing I do is I cast my road. So the road will give me stability, it will give him weakness. So that means I can't be knocked down and he can't crit me. So I go ahead and cast that and you see it hits the clones for 3k, 3k, 3k and it hits him as well for 3k. So that also gave me the bonus of killing three of his clones. So three of his clones are dead. I've got stability. He's got weakness. I don't really need to be scared of his burst. So I move up here, dodge those clones. And so now he's pretty much out of burst at this point. He's, he's tried one time up the stairs. He tried a second time when I was on the node. And now I know that I can feel comfortable putting some damage into him. So what do I do? I swap into Assassin. There we go. And I'm just trying to get some damage here. And look at that. He's turned into his sort of crystal form. If you look at his character model there. Um, so you see also I tried to hit him in invulnerable has popped up. So that means he's used his distort. Um, so he's completely invulnerable to damage at this point. Uh, Mesmers have an ability called distort, which makes them invulnerable to all damage for a short window of time, but it's got a very long cooldown. So uh, he's used his distort. 
So, okay, what am I going to do now? There's no point in doing any damage to him. So I stopped doing any damage. I don't want to use any more cooldowns. So I just make some space. I dodged there. I probably shouldn't have dodged. There's nothing really to dodge, but that was just probably just the uh, uh, force of habit. So I'm making some space. I cast my daggers, and I'm watching him. I'm just going to cast some abilities just to do a little bit of chip damage. That uh, short before you can cast while running away. So I do that. Just get a little bit of damage in on him. And you see he dodges it. Okay, so what do I know? He's used his distort. He doesn't have distort anymore, and he just used a dodge. He doesn't have a dodge. So he's got no defensives whatsoever at this point. And so that means it's the perfect time for me to do my burst. I've got my short bolt. I'm in uh, assassin stance. So this is a perfect opportunity for me to do a burst. And so I go ahead and do that. I go uh, impossible odds, short bolt three, and get a nice big burst down. And it's successful. And we get the down there. So uh, what might seem like a quick and uh, maybe random duel, there's a lot of kind of... Uh, reading into the enemy's abilities and thinking about what he's going to cast and how I can mitigate his damage and so on and so forth. Uh, much respect to the uh, to the person that was dueling. He's a very good uh, power chrono. Uh, I'm sure in the next game that we uh, find myself in against him, he will kill me. Uh, but that's a little bit of an insight into my thought process. Hopefully that was uh, helpful for any uh, new viewers, uh, anybody who's new to uh, PvP looking to get into some games and figure out how things are working. Uh, if this is helpful to you, please feel free to let me know, and then I can uh, keep doing more of these in the future. So thanks very much, and we'll see you next week.